how is it fair that the parent who has primary placement pays for everything while the other parent has zero and doesn't pay more support. Hey everybody, I'm attorney Kyle Kaufman at hkklawoffices.com. Welcome to our channel uh, where we make educational videos for people like you. In this video today, I wanna go straight to the source. We've got some comments that I would like to make some videos and reply to, so I've got some videos coming on that. Uh, leave uh, your comments and uh, like, our, like our channel. All right, so in this video, we have a user here who asks a question is, uh, is this, how is it fair that the parent who has primary placement pays for everything while the other parent has zero and doesn't pay more support. All right, so let me break this down for you. A couple things here. Um, there can be scenarios. Now, I'm an attorney in Wisconsin, so we're going to talk about child support in the context of the state of Wisconsin. Um, first thing you need to do is have your own consultation with an attorney, no matter what state you're in, no matter where you are. Sit down with an attorney uh, and, and get some takeaways from that consultation, and I would encourage you to hire an attorney for your matter so you have that legal advice and fully understand what is going on in your state and your situation. Okay, that is number one. What we're doing here is a zoomed out over uh, some oversight on um, overview, I should say, of the child support concepts in Wisconsin. So what this user is asking about is uh, presenting it as if this user is the primary parent with placement. Okay, that parent is primarily caring for the child, has most of the placement, and the other parent does not. And what this parent is saying is, I'm paying all the money for it too. I'm doing the care and paying for it. This other person is not having placement and not really paying. So there's some problem with that, right, just on its face, and I'm not sure exactly what the issue is in that particular situation. On a high level, though, I do want to tell you there are some situations that I've seen, I've been a part of it, where the parent who has more placement than the other is actually paying support to the parent with less. That seems like a crazy concept. I know, I was part of it, uh, not enforcing it, defending it, and the context of how child support is constructed in Wisconsin and calculated based on placement and the party's income. In that case, the calculation came out that the parent who had more time should still be paying support to the parent with less. And that's a really crazy concept, and what I'd like you to do, if, if you're in a situation like that, you have to talk to an attorney. It's too much for a video like this, but I wanna warn you those situations do exist. Number two is, for this particular user, perhaps they just haven't reviewed child support properly. Maybe they haven't been to court. And it's possible, so what happened, it's possible that support when it was set, the situation was different or the parent's income was less than what it is now. Um, and the facts and circumstances have changed and what's in the court order doesn't reflect the reality of the situation. So we see that all the time, right? It starts like one thing where parents got the placement, the other is working and child support is set on that person's um, wages. And then over time, that person who's paying sees the child less and less, and their income goes up, and the other parent is like, hey, I'm doing all the parenting, and I'm not getting any more child support for it. How is it fair? This person over here has to request it, okay? You have to go and say, I want it reviewed. I want this looked at. I want to explain to the court how much placement I have compared to the other and what the income is of that party, all right? So that's really where it starts. Uh, this video is not to say that one scenario is more fair than the other, but it is to encourage you to really look at your situation and keep that line here. Don't don't lower it. A lot of people are fearful of going back to court, having support reviewed. Um, and, you know, in fact, when circumstances change in Wisconsin, that's a time that calls for a review of support. And that can be changes in the financial situation for sure, and if the placement schedule has changed as well. So you really need to make sure you have that locked in. Here are the takeaways, guys. Lock it in. Know what the placement schedule is. Make sure that the court order reflects the placement schedule. Number three, make sure that the court is aware then of what the income is between the parties, right? And in Wisconsin, if you are considered the primary parent, which means that the other parent has 25, per, uh, or I should say 24% or less of the time, then that parent should be paying at least 17% of their gross income for that child. If the parent with less time has 25% percent or more of the time they are now put into a category called shared placement and in a situation like that both parents income is considered in a calculation and we have a number that starts as the guideline of what a court should consider for support 
And then of course we have the situations where we have parents that are equal shared, people call that 50-50. And again, we're gonna consider the income of both parties there. So um, to answer this user's question, is it fair? I don't know. I don't know what your placement schedule is. I don't know what the income of the parties is. I don't even know how many kids are involved in it. And that's why you have to sit down with somebody like me, a lawyer like me, to go through your situation specifically. But those are the things you should know. How much placement is there? What is the income of the parties? When was the last time it was reviewed? What does the court order say? I hope you guys found some value in this video. We'll be back with some more. Thanks.